Hello. Great to Hello. talk with you. Likewise. Uh, for me, it's it's a given that I'm on a timeline of ascension, merging with the galactic community, merging with the inner earth beings. That's all just guaranteed. Um, oh, thank you. But you mentioned that it's not necessarily set for everybody. And so I'm often curious because I understand that I create my reality and I understand the timeline that I'm on. Um, and, and for me, it's, it's like a, like Ruben's, you know, concerned about, you know, the fear of the media and stuff like that. For me, it's like a no brainer. It's a done deal that it's, I don't have to be concerned about that at all. And so I'm curious though, is there, are there different timelines that others in this current earth consciousness are going to go on that, you know, that won't be having those experiences? And, and if so, are we, are we always splitting off into, into different timelines or are these different timelines kind of just occurring simultaneously on the planet? Like for instance, there are people on the planet now that believe the earth is flat. Um, and, and, you know, they have a very strong belief about that. And so potentially, you know, will I be able to just be working with galactic beings and stuff on the planet at the same time that there are other people who continue to just be on a timeline and on the planet where there are no alien beings interacting with anybody? All right. Thank you for this. First of all, there is a lot of things we can choose to reflect upon that you've given to us. First of all, all time is simultaneous. There is an ongoing splitting off. It never ends in that way, and it never began either. It is ongoing. It is truly infinite. There are, okay, let's put it this way, probabilities of realities coexisting on your, quote-unquote, and by that we mean your version of Earth as you're choosing to co-create it from one moment to the next. There are probabilities of different angles of perception in a specific bandwidth that are either harmonious or not harmonious coexisting right now, and you are aware of this. That is what is changing. That is what is meant by the awakening or shift into a higher dimensional reality. This bandwidth is shifting. You allow it to manifest through you. You are revealing that version of Earth if you choose to look at your journey from a higher vibrational perspective. You are allowing that version of Earth where people are more harmoniously connected to each other, vibrating more in unconditional love on a higher level of consciousness without saying this without any judgment to any other step of the consciousness letter that one can choose to travel through and all the gifts that come with that. So you could say that the shifting that is taking place is a shifting of bandwidth, a shifting of your entire color palette, where perhaps, to give you an analogy from an artistic point of view, the more darker colors, the blacks and the dark browns, have been integrated to such a degree, not pushed out, not expelled, but integrated to such a degree that they automatically turn into a higher vibration or lighter coloration, so to speak. Pushing or allowing, better said, the entire palette to move into a different color scheme and then adding as you are opening, uh, you could say, your vision to that degree. Adding colors that perhaps, as an analogy, you might call fluorescent or some glitters, if you will, that sparkle the light back to you real obviously, some golds and silvers. 
This is the quote unquote splitting. Now you begin your question by asking, are there those that will never see open contact? And yes, there are. And even you just allowing yourself to come up with that as an idea, as a possibility, in a sense, lets you know that must be a timeline for you could not perceive it. If not in one way or another, it had some type of reality connected to it. It just depends to what level this is being played out within your vision. How much of that reality or version of reality you will get to see or not. This is your shifting of your window. You will individually do that. And as you do that, you will, you could say, in the blink of an eye, constantly, every single nanosecond, allow into your conscious awareness the crystallization of the collective that adds to that individual journey for you. You shift collectives. You shift the window. You shift the bandwidth. You shift your color palette. All colors exist. All colors are valuable, are needed for the exploration of the one to get to know itself again and again and again from an infinite amount of angles of perception. This is what wanted to come through most on that particular question. Does that assist you? Yes. And so, so I'm curious. So I guess there could be a point when, cause I know, I know from my reality, I definitely, that can definitely be of course, very unique, but then there's the co-created reality and like where multiple of uh, multiple people are seeing like say the president of the U S and, and so I guess there will be, there is the possibility that there will be simultaneously groups of people who are seeing the president of the U S having open contact and then other people seeing the president not having open contact and, and all of this can be occurring simultaneously. In parallel universes, yes, on your focus point of one Earth, not likely. The example that you're giving right now, not likely. By the time that you are, you are, those that allow themselves to shift to that version of Earth, by the times that you are ready to perceive open contact, the ones that cannot see that, will not see that, that level of resistance will most likely have been split off by then. If you understand what we mean by that. Split off into a parallel reality? Into a different bandwidth of perception. You will have shifted yourself into a specific bandwidth of perception. If you see a public person having open contact and this information being shared with your globe through your media, as in the, this example is perhaps what you mean, then the observers of that will, if you're truly ready for that level of open contact, all be seeing the contact taking place. Now, the thoughts that they have about that, the emotions that it brings up in them, that may differ greatly. But you're saying there may be some that can't see it at all whilst it is happening. And that would be unlikely. We are taking you very literally in your example. Right. You're, and as we understand your example, you're talking about a version of Earth where the president, so a public figure, is having right. open contact, shaking the hand of an alien, if you wish to put it that way. And some people be, being able to see that and others literally not being able to see that. That is unlikely. Does that help? Yes. All right. Does it make a difference to you whether this would have been the case or not? Just our curiosity. You know, I guess it doesn't really... Um, oh, thank you. Because it's, no, it's just, it's all this, what am I creating? Period. Yes. Yes. Is that relevant for you as an idea? That is the more important question, really. All right. But still fun playing with you.
Thank you. Oh, thank you. Are we good for one last question? Yes, if you are. Okay. Well, it's up to Will. Hey, so, hey how, how's it going? Thank you both so much for this experience. My question is the same as a couple of weeks ago. And um, what can you share with us humans at this time that most excites you that we're ready to uh, kind of start understanding? Well, thank you. In a nutshell, it would be to invite you to ask yourselves what most excites you. To allow yourself to ask yourselves that question. Our highest excitement is to just share what we are sharing. We do not care really what you choose to do with it. We can see, however, that if you choose to allow yourself to follow your own highest excitement, as you may have heard us say and many other, you could say, beings of our species and other hybrid lineage, brothers and sisters, through other channels as well. When you allow yourself to follow your own highest excitement in every single here and now moment, without pushing or pulling and to the best of your ability, taking it as far as you can take it, without insisting or having any type of assumption towards what the outcome should be and remaining in a positive state of mind regarding the reflections that you receive back along the way, that will bring you that which is most relevant for you as an individual and as a collective in your current times of transitions. We all understand it may not be much of a news flash or inspiring message, perhaps, because you may have heard this so many times before, but it really does come down to that. And instead of reinventing the wheel, there is more power in just reminding you of the most direct route of least resistance than inventing other ones that might just distract you. You understand? Yeah, thank you. That really speaks to me on a personal level right now. That's awesome. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Then perhaps that is why you got it. <laughs> so in your face. <laughs> we love you unconditionally. Thank you. Uh, we we'll love you back. Thank you. And, uh, and, and thank you, Arjun. I think that, uh, you know, I, I love these interactions and and uh, I'm sure we'll be doing more, are we? Maybe you can peek into our future and see some we more. We can say, see you again, yet again. Awesome. I was hoping you'd say that. Thank you for doing what you do, for offering the platform that you offer. Thank you to every single one uh, tuning in and listening in for being a co-creator in your own way, for being on uh, this miraculous journey of transformation, we are honored and rejoiced to be a part of this journey and wish you all a brilliant, bright rest of your day. Namaste. Awesome. Awesome. So... Uh well, as you come back, I'm just going to share what was coming. This is sort of to Will's question and I sort of reading into the question a little bit. Um, you know, everything is a two way pump. So what, you know, you're, there's always an exchange and I feel sometimes there is the, these, uh, these interactions with our, um, space alien brothers or earth people or whatever. There's this, there's so much received in these transa transactions and tr transmissions that <laughs> transactions, it is a transaction. And I think that's the idea is the transmission we're receiving a lot. So what is it that we're giving back to these beings? What it, there must be some sort of energy exchange. And I've wondered that and, and asked that myself. And what I found, especially from, let's say the hybrid uh, the hybrid races, the hybrid lineages is perhaps the idea of um, their timelines, their uh, history, let's say from the, uh, you know, the, the Zeta or the gray history where they t abducted humans and took the whole thing and had all that. There's this heaviness that comes with that story. 
and this um, coming back to give service to the humans in this way, in a sense, perhaps is a way of lightening this that that story, and 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 then us humans saying, okay, it's not so. You know, look at how uh, benevolent in giving these beings that were created from these traumatic situations. So therefore, there's this um, lightening of the energy, in a sense, and that is helping them release this human attachment to that story um, of this uh, malevolence that we were taking against our will. Am I making any sense when I'm going this th down these rabbit holes with this the way of thinking? So they're giving, in a sense, this energy exchange is their karma is being released in these exchanges of uh, karma or attachment to the heavy story is being released in their givingness of uh, information that we're able to take in and have all this positive uh, good vibes from. Is that making any sense? Absolutely. That's okay, resonating. Okay. Very okay. deeply, and I'm smiling because they're still so close. Um, and I got it's the physicalization in this storyline mm -hmm. of the hybridization, it's the physicalization, like literally the crystallization of birthing light from darkness, mm -hmm. integrating to such a degree that uh, what seems to be our darkest shadow possible future, the gray timeline, mm -hmm. uh, ends up giving gifting us uh if only symbolical just for people who are like more skeptical about the physical part if only symbolical the children uh that bring the light that bring the news that bring the new way the new possibilities and of course it's not depending on the hybrids uh, there's so many uh, species that are sharing uh this possibility for us and with us and it's within us is what arjun always stresses as well we create that he once said um, something along the lines of, we are dreaming each other up. So we, we imagine them into our re uh, reality mm -hmm. and the other way around. So mm -hmm. picture that. So there must have been a desire. So this is just my specula speculation. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, imagine that something or someone that was born in a really high uh, vibrational reality wanted to dream up apparently <laughs> a history or origin story where there is lots of strife and struggle mm -hmm. they wanted to be of service I, I am sure that i mean as we all know by the way um if you're good at something say you're you make a really really good curry <laughs> like you're a good cook or you're good with animals or whatever your plants a garden um, it's one thing to do it yourself um, and expert in that at some point. And then it's a whole other thing to teach it to other people. So being a teacher is another way of becoming a student. And I really feel that many of the entities and beings that are choosing to speak with us and reflect to us where we are at are learning how to be teachers and are integrating that in their own journey in one way or another it's you know yep. something i can imagine might be the case <laughs> absolutely absolutely this is this this is the same with me and you know and sharing in this way it's a service to the self to see others grow in their own unique ways because they're uplifting frequency the vibration of the reality that we're existing in and this is why you know this idea of um I think the new paradigm of the new earth that we're shifting into of, uh, you know, more of uh, helping the other, another person, obviously still containing your own sovereignty and your own um, power. But when your cup is full, then you help the other person. Before we had this idea where we were sort of entrained and taught that helping service to others is the ultimate sacrifice, right? You got to, mm. you have to, um, help everybody else before you help yourself. Mm -hmm. And then what we ha what happened is we had a whole society and we have a whole society of big-hearted people that end up giving away their own power 
Mm -hmm. And then it brings everything down Mm -hmm. when we just flip that role, when it's the same thing, it's fill your cup up first. And then once you're full, then you can start sharing with everybody else. And that doesn't make you selfish or mean or, you know, self-serving or whatever. Well, you are self-serving, but you're self-serving so you can help the other people. Yeah. And, And I think that that mentality and that idea is what we're moving into now we've, we're getting away from you know religious guilt and all these other things and we just went through another wave of the jab saying is like do this so you can save grandma and all this other bullshit <laughs> that now we know is bullshit and um and and it's uh and we're like no you know take care of yourself take your vitamins get your immunity up do do what you need to do so you can then go and help other people so anyways i think that ties along with these beings coming down to help us because yeah. once our reality gets up an octave, then they can use that to go to the next level. And as you like the teacher analogy, the teacher, once everybody else is, you know, has the information and is, you know, on their own feet, then the teacher can go off to the mountains and go yeah. do another pilgrimage, yeah. you know, and, and feel confident that when he comes back down from the mountain, the, the, the village isn't uh, being raped and pillaged. It's like doing good. Everybody's eating good and has their um, their sustainable gardens and everything. And okay, I'm going to go do my pilgrimage and you guys chill and we'll come back and we'll do this all over again. You know, that yeah. kind of idea. Yes. And then there is no codependency and there is a right. good balance and there is a good understanding, a sense of self. And when you take that time to take care of you, mm-hmm. uh, it's like watering you know, the plants. And by the time that that you see the flowers are blooming, that's when everybody around you will enjoy the blooming flowers. And it's so much more fun and so much more radiant than if you're with those little sprouts and you're like, I have to save the world and completely (laughs) exhausting yourself and the plants are withering because you forgot to alter them and it would just leave you exhausted. So I I do think a lot of people are are learning that now, particularly yeah. since it seems like time is speeding up and we're, we have all these uh, societal obligation stories running in the background. And it is so endlessly interesting. I'm absolutely fascinated with this world. <laughs> it, it's, moving, it's moving super fast. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's all, all of it is relevant. And even if we perceive something as my new door why are they doing that so there's still relevancy to that person in the in in like arjun said it it must be just having the idea in the uh so the idea of like mark said a world of non-disclosure it, there's still some even though he's definitely not on that timeline don't worry mark i know you're not on that timeline but uh there that that timeline exist it won't be part of our reality but just the perception of it um there must be a part of that in us still there's still some doubt there's still some things to work on there's still some you know we're still working through that 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 storyline and uh and it's relevant as as irrelevant as you know a non-disclosure reality is for all of us i don't think that's even part of our timeline but we're having the conversation so something's there it's 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 relevant it's irrelevant but it's relevant and it's uh and now i'm overcomplicating and i think well, was like i just said because, simplify yes. <laughs> yeah i think the fact that we can see people who have uh severe doubts or or, or you know um this whole idea of even alien existence at all you know anything being outside of this planet um and we can see those people going through their process. Uh, how gorgeous is that? What a deepening does that add to our journey? Um, just, you know, of course, you know, assuming that <laughs> they're all, you know, really believing there's something there. Um, it deepens, you know, whatever you believe you're in contact with. Uh, whatever we personally believe is true for us. Seeing others that believe the opposite is a deepening of the journey. Uh, I am grateful for seeing the contrast the way I am observing it right now in the world. I know it has relevance, whatever anybody's thinking about anything. And if it triggers me, 
I need it to have that sensation. And it, it just helps me uh, look at myself. Why am I triggered? What is this saying about myself and my own set of beliefs? Is there some room for love yeah. there? Most likely so. <laughs> well, it's, it's a deep lesson in compassion, understanding, yeah. exactly. forgiveness, and um, unjudgment. You know, these, are, these are great lessons uh, that are being presented to us, you know, for the, us who think we have the answer and we know this is the way and this, you're, come on, everybody, what are you doing? Get in line. Why are you dragging <laughs> your ass? Um, but then it's like, whoa, 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 that's not the right way. It's like, no, we're all this together. Come on. So thank you, Wiedeka. That was just as much as before, if not more, very powerful and very um, empowering. Oh, thank you so much, yeah. Ruben, um, yeah. for your ongoing uh, conversations. Yeah, also an, an energy investment in this entire oh. journey. And it's beyond valuable, like, really. So thank you so much for that. And it was my uh, big uh, pleasure to be on this, you know, co-creation with yeah. you and everybody else uh, who uh, tuned in. Uh, well, we were able ready. to do this because of everybody, you know, that I'm able to keep this this gig up because everybody has been so supportive. Over the years, uh, you know, mm -hmm. through um, before it even got to Gaia, and then Gaia opened the audience, and then you guys coming here, on here. So we're the com yeah. conversations being uh, continued because, again, it's it's a co-creation, co collective movement. Yes, um, and where the collective asks, there is an answer being offered, and whether we see it or not, it's there. So you're just making visible what we all already pulled in, in a way. Mm -hmm. And the other way around, you're receiving answers to your own, <laughs> uh, whatever desires are there flowing totally. to you. So I just love the, the harmony in the co-creation of all of it and how we are and how you are with this platform uh, also always stirring it back to um, inclusion and non-judgmental um, attitudes. I really deeply appreciate that. That's so, so a, f a breath of fresh air. I love it. <laughs> it. It is. It is, and it's. Uh, and it's. I hope we're, we can continue to grow in this. I hope it's a. It's a. A, br uh, a part of air that more people embrace, and, and they are. It's. It's happening. I'm seeing it yeah. happen. But thank you again. You got so many cool things from your sharing, and um, like Arjun said, I'm sure we will do it some more. Yes signing up for that thank cool, you cool. and everybody yes yeah. and thanks for going the extra time we went like super over our usual yeah time oh so, yeah thanks for tuning in i uh, hope you like this interview we actually do this every week on my membership portal page you can access it through interviewwithed.org or uh, click on the link uh, somewhere in here i'll put a link and uh, come over and join us you too can ask questions every week we have new special guests and you get to ask questions directly to the channelers and to the beings that they channel. So see you in the portal.